guys, here we go. So, look at this plate. God. I told you guys, I know I've come here a lot, but I told you guys I was gonna get something new this time. And, yeah, I'm, look at, look, look at all this food. This was all 11 bucks. I also ordered crab run gear, of course. It was a little good appetizer. Got me, hook me up with some duck sauce. But, yeah, I'm like stirring all of my words because Man, I'm hungry. This is called the hot and spicy chicken crab rangoon. And this isn't on the regular menu because when you walk in, you'll see this menu like with like a bunch of like the commonly ordered stuff. However, this is on the Chinese menu and apparently it's like renowned. And look at all these chili flakes. You know, I haven't been home in like six weeks and I've been craving some spicy food so. This is gonna be good. A huge ass crowd just walking. We looked, we left out. We beat the crowd. But first, let's try this crab rangoon. Now, as you can see, this is a traditional crab rangoon shape. Cause the one I got at Bangkok Thai a few weeks ago was like this, like tortilla looking shape. I'm gonna do it without the. These are. This is the shape that I was talking about. Like this is how you traditionally make it, and. Look at that cream cheese oozing off the top. Let's get into this first. All right, let's try playing first. Mm, throw on this duck sauce. Oh yeah, what an appetizer. I have to say, I think the crab rangoon here is better than Bangkok Thai. Just you can't you can't deny this like classic shape. I think it just for some reason it's like a better texture, and then all the cream cheese is like pulled over here. It's just a lot better than that tortilla shape. Take another bite of this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Enough of that right now. You guys came here for this. As you can see, it's like the deep fried chicken, just like an orange chicken, a sesame chicken, general soy chicken, and all that stuff. But it's in this dry chili seasoning. All right, here, let me get a onion in this bite. Ooh. Yeah, pretty good. Has a bit of a kick. I'm gonna try eating this with a chili though. The question you're probably wondering is, is this better than orange chicken? No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's really not. However, it is really good though. It's really different. The difference is that one, it's dry, of course, but it has this really good, robust, like chili flavor. All right, real quick. I think my friend went up me because this is what he got. Look at that. This is salt and pepper chicken, and I'm gonna try a bite of this. Look at that. Mm. It's like chips, but chicken form, right? I know this is popping when I'm doing, but get that. Get the salt and pepper chicken. Let's get some sriracha action here. Oh yeah. Look at that. So we used to getting like a syrupy kind of chicken, right? Yeah. 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 It's like one chicken. Those oh, oh, this salt and pepper chicken, man. I know Lila Walk. Um, remember the salt and pepper squid? Yeah. I kind of want to try that. <laughs> they have a big menu. So I keep saying like, oh, I'm not going back there. <laughs> Let's take a bite out of this. Look at that. It almost looks like cauliflower, but nah. It ain't no cauliflower. Mmm. The breading on this is amazing. Try this with a duck sauce. 
Alright, back to the crab run dude action. Hold up. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm like barely eating the rice. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are like tired of super sweet orange chicken, sesame chicken, all that stuff, this is a great alternative. It's very different. It's definitely not sweet at all. Either this or the salt and pepper chicken, good alternative. More sriracha action with the duck sauce as well. It's definitely not something I'm used to. And for me, I'm I really like sweet stuff, especially like sweet meat, like barbecue, barbecue ribs, uh, orange chicken, of course. But this is it's it's good if you if you guys really like more like a little bit spicy and savory kind of things. Definitely try this. I wouldn't say. We'll say it's not the spiciest in the world, but it's a good balance. And also because the chicken is dry, and meaning the breading, not like the inside is not dry, like not in a bad way, but because this is dry and it's not super syrupy, it's almost reminiscent to like popcorn chicken. You almost don't even need the rice because see I'm not even like, eating the rice, like I can eat this plain. Wash it down with some chrysanthemum tea. This is for you guys, take advantage of it. Alright, on to the last Crab Rangoon. Ooh. This is Crab Rangoon. That was an awful bite. Yo, what up? Yes, I am. <laughs> We're gonna add cravings for like the fifth time. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Right, exactly. Uh, last bite. Hold up. Need to add some duck sauce to this. Alright, last bite. That definitely hit the spot. You know, I wouldn't necessarily order this over my personal favorite one, chicken. But that's just that's just me because I I just like sweet stuff more than savory. At least in this style of like deep fried chicken. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.